Feliz año, familia. Happy New Year. My, my name is Ray Olmedo, and I'm very grateful to be here. As I always said, it's uh, 2022. We are in the first uh, Monday of this year, in the first week. So I figured I will talk to you today about firsts and beginnings. And um, I have great scriptures for that, and I hope you enjoy it. So let me open up in prayer. Father, we thank you, Lord. I thank you for this new year. Lord, this is a gift from you to us. And we receive it with joy, Lord. No matter what's coming our way, we know that you will be with us in every step. Lord, as 2021 has passed and it was a year of so many challenges and changes, Lord, I pray for the heartbroken, Lord, for the ones that they have lost people last year and uh, loved ones. Lord, I, I lift up all the people that is ill um, or sick at the hospitals, Lord, for all the people working in the hospitals around the clock um, to serve uh, those patients, Father God. I just put all these things in your hand, Lord, in your hands, and I just uh, pray that you will come and be with us today lord and just uh, walk us through this study and be you the one teaching us from your word in jesus name i pray amen so as we are again in the beginning of this new year and um, as we are in the first week of 2022 i start searching for scriptures that have to do with beginnings and uh, with uh, firsts so the very first one that came to mind, uh, and one of my favorite ones in the Bible is, of course, Genesis 1.1. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. So when I was a new Christian and I was studying the Bible and the, the book of Genesis for the first time, I had someone, um, someone told me that this scripture, the very first scripture in the Bible, it's a very important one in the life of a believer because it's kind of like the core of their faith or our faith like this is when you open the bible and you read genesis 1 1 in the beginning god created the heavens and the earth and you believe it without any hint of doubt you could really expect great things coming after that as you study the bible because so many people don't cannot even pass this um, scripture without questioning. So I was blessed to find out that I was one of them myself. Like, I never doubted, like I believed it the same way my kids did. At this point, when I learned the scripture, my children were going through Awana and I I just experienced it the same way they did with, with no questioning, with just 100% faith in that was truth that god is our creator and that was it was a great feeling in my heart so i love this scripture and i figured it was a very good way to start because as we start this new year we want our faith to be childlike at least that's one of the things that i pray for myself that i will remain with a childlike faith when i encounter difficult uh, situations in life or even difficult scriptures to understand in the Bible. So the second one that uh, that I want to bring to this study is of course John 1 1. So we have Genesis 1 1 which is the first um, verse of the first book of the Bible and of the first book of the Old Testament and then we have John 1 1 in the beginning also, right, it start like that. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. Verse 2 says, He was in the beginning with God. So, this scripture wasn't so easy for me to understand. It took a little bit of a study and uh, in depth. So, I was able to relate to what they were talking about to what johnny was trying to explain to us and who was there with god in the beginning and of course 
I learned, as you know, that it was Jesus. He was always there with the Father from the beginning, and He was also God. So understanding that, it was just like a great milestone for me. And as I was led by Pastor Gary um, and other elders and leaders in the church about other, and, and we study other scriptures like John 1 14 that explain to you why we know for sure that that, that person in the beginning, the word was Jesus. Um, it's just a, a great um, accomplishment for a, for a Christian, for a believer. So I love that. It reminds me of those beginnings when I started to understand the word of God and how is there all those little things that you study and you realize they're everywhere. The third scripture that I wanted to uh, bring to this study is Revelations, Revelation 2, 4 through 5. So it says, But I have this against you, that you have abandoned the love you had at first. Remember, therefore, from where you have fallen, repent, and do the works you did at first. And then there's a warning. If not... I will come to you and remove your lampstand from its place unless you repent. So as we progress studying our Bible, we become these mature Christians in the Word if we are constant. Um, but then you could get into the, uh, the everyday, the routine of doing your devotional, reading your Bible, uh, serving in the church, but is your heart really there? Are you so committed with that love and that uh, passion and that faith that you uh, were th that you were committed to when you started it? I think about my husband and the way I felt about him in the beginning when I met him, and 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 the way I felt I feel uh, towards him now. And uh, that's one of my prayers. I'm always rem asking God, Lord, let me love him the same way I love him from the first day. I believe our love is stronger than ever right now and more mature and deep. Uh, but there is this innocent to it in the beginning that I love. And I really want to have that with God, with my congregation here at Calvary Chapel Hemet and studying the word. And the last verse that I picked is Mark 9.35. Sitting down, Jesus called the twelve disciples and said, Anyone who wants to be first must be the very last and servant of all. So in this scripture, uh, you and I, we both reminders uh, of the example that Jesus set up for us as he walked on earth and how being king of king, lords of lords, he was the lamb who was sacrificed and he was the servant to all. So it's a great reminder of if you want to be first, you must be last and serve others. So all these things I want you to remember with me through this study, just how you felt in the beginning when you started uh, reading the word for the first time. Um, all the milestones that you conquered through the study of the word, like it happened to me with John 1.1. And then, you know, are you in a routine learning the Word of God without any really connection to your heart, to your mind, to your soul? Or um, are you forgetting your first love or you are connected there with them? And then are you serving, you know, with the same passion, with the same love that you did in the beginning? So as I walked you through all this um, verses that talk about new beginnings and firsts. I pray that your heart will be in the right place today and you will welcome all these uh, scriptures and study them and read them with the same uh, joy that I have and then let that mark a new beginning in this year 2022 as you approach your walk with God and, uh, and as he reveals to you faithful in every step of the way. So let's pray. Father in heaven, Lord, I thank you for the opportunity to revisit your word over and over and over again. It doesn't have to pass a year and another one to begin for us to just feel the need to go to your word, Lord. I just pray that you will give us hunger and faith and understanding and capabilities for us to conquer and grow in your word this year, Lord. 
um, I thank you for your love and for your own faith, for your faithfulness, Lord, because you're always with us. So we give you this year, 2022, and we pray that you will take control over it and guide us. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. So thank you. <laughs>